We're going to the intermediate level. Now the next option is actually to use a countertop. Now this is lower than a countertop. We're gonna use the chair. You simply need it for balance for the squats. Go ahead, Mike. You're gonna do the same thing as against the wall, except for... You're gonna hold on to a countertop. There you go. Now I'm not pushing hard with it. I'm just kind of using this for balance. Go down to how you feel comfortable with depth. Do 10 repetitions and then go on to exercise number two. So we're gonna do some marching again or mountain climbers, depending on what you want to call them. Now I'm more at a 45 degree angle, makes it a bit more challenging than simply against the wall. And let's go to the next one. What is the last one again? Push-ups! How, how easily we forget. Get. You'll you'll remember after doing this for oh, a couple days. There so you now go. we're gonna get a little bit more upper body movement work in the chest. The closer you go, the easier it'll be. The further out you go, the harder it'll be. And actually, we're gonna go to the next more advanced level, and Mike and I are gonna have a little competition. So you're gonna want to stick around. We're just gonna hear a bunch of heavy breathing. <laughs> now we're going to do the more advanced method. It's in the standing position, but remember, they're all identical. The first thing you do, get your feet shoulder width apart, then good posture and maintain that while you're doing it. Now we're going to simply start squats. You can hold on to the cupboard or chair while you do your squats. Again, go down as far as you feel comfortable. You don't want to get down and not be able to get up. That's not the goal of this. It's the goal is to finish it. Again, 10 seconds or 10 reps, whatever works works well for you. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is mount climbers. Now this, we're actually gonna get to the floor in that push-up position. I'll show it a profile, and you simply bring knee up to the chest and alternate right and left. Take your time with this. This is not a race. We are not trying to compete. Well, maybe we will later, Mike, I don't know. <laughs> Now, a couple things you can do to make this less boring is take your knee and kick out to the side. Kick out to the side, and it works your hips a little bit differently. Works with different muscles, it's better for you. Your core is working, your arms are working, your legs are working. This is a complete full body exercise no matter which one you do. Sometimes I like to do this and just lift one leg up in the air. We're going longer than the 10 seconds just so I can show you the variations that you can do. And then simply finish out with push-ups as you feel comfortable. When I do them, I do like three, and that's it. And I start all over. Ready? Oh, Mike is going to do 35, I imagine. <laughs> Go faster now, that's 35. <laughs> wow, they're youngsters. 